Alright guys, this is my biggest EIS system update yet. I got... An EIS rack. Well, network rack. It still works though. I couldn't get the bottom screws in. Now, if you see, if you saw my Siren Ambience video, you would have uh, seen this already. If you watched until the very end. Um, but yeah, anyway. So here's the actual EIS system update video. So anyway, you may have noticed that I have the Easy Plus on. And that's because I'm going to... Oh yeah, I don't remember what I was trying to find now. I was trying to... But uh, it's going to be used as a digital logger for right now. For NWR. And the Sage will be used for KCA, which will also be hooked up to NERP if I do get accepted, which I have already applied for them. Where is the cord? something similar than the stairs so it's fine anyway so let's get back here to the EAS setup so let's start with the easy plus because I feel like it so the easy plus is only gonna be used for logging because it doesn't generate same headers or originate alerts so like I don't really need to originate alerts but like I you know I won't be able to send any alerts either so anyway let's see here KIG86 is on air. It's just, uh, I don't have a, Green. And the relative I just don't have an antenna hooked up. This is going into my Sage index. Oops. Um, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we got some different stuff in here. Character generator. I don't have a character generator. EIS config. All that good stuff. Yeah, just a bunch of random crap about my Easy Plus. And then if you look closely, you can see that the active channel thing used to be right up here. This thing was probably upgraded a few times. It was 5.20 when I got it, which is an old Easy Plus, but I think it was older because it was down here when it was 5.20, but you can see where it used to be up here. So, yeah. My, my Easy Plus must be an old Easy Plus. Anyway, so, um, let's get into the Sage Index. So, you're probably going to ask first, what does that switch do? This disables and enables my speaker, on my front speaker on my Sage. So, when I go to bed... Um, uh, since this thing is going to be handling alerts from NERP eventually, um, if I get accepted in, that way, when I go to bed, I can just flip that switch off and have the station running still, but I can go to sleep, and the only sound there will be is some relays clicking, and then, um, the, the printer is not working. I, I took the printer off of the print, on the, off of the printer module, because it, I, I fried it, and, um, so yeah. I'm going to try and get a new printer soon. Um, but I just spent all my birthday money. Hey, not birthday. Um, uh, Christmas money. To get this microphone for this age. And also I ordered a scanner and a mount for this a few months ago. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to, like, mount it back there, I think. On, like, that thing. Or maybe I'll end up just mounting it right here. I don't know yet. Um, I, I just need to find a spot for it. That's you, know, you get the idea. So yeah. Anyway, so for right now it's just uh, sitting up there, nice and pretty. But yeah. So let's get started with the stage and uh, let's get started here with the stage index. So anyway, yes, my password is just a single one right now. I'm changing that soon. And um, yeah. So. Let's just go and run the RWC. Oops. Okay, now. Let's 
So yeah, this is a, a switch does do it does do its job. And I'll show you in the printer like how I took the module off. Not how I did, but like the facts that I did. You can see that I took the whole printer module off of the uh, board here. So, now. But yeah, I'm going to try and get a new printer soon. Because I haven't wanted to. They're expensive. It's $100. Just about how much I got this Endeck for, but I got this Endeck for Christmas, so... I had it earlier because it was a Christmas present. I it was an early Christmas present because my brother got something early this year. So anyway, yeah. Um, we have logs in here. Nope. And then um, let's send something else. Let's send something that we need to use the microphone for. Let's do National Air Service. Microphone. All of Ohio. And do five hours and thirty minutes because we are that kind of person. Well, I am that kind of person. This message is for test purposes only. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for all of Ohio at until um, time. At time, a severe thunderstorm capable of produce, uh, producing a tornado is located at insert location here. Moving insert direction here at insert speed here. Hazard. Insert hazards here. Source. Insert sources here. Impact. Insert impacts here. Locations impacted include. Insert locations here. This includes the following interstates. Insert interstates here. This includes the following highways. Insert highways here. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. To report severe weather, go to our website at weather.gov slash ILN and submit your report via social media when you can do so safely. <coughs> But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I, I got a EAS rack. Yes, poggers that is. But it does have something else that's also really poggers. If I can get it. There we go. That is a slide out hinge system. Well, I have not done that with the index on here yet. That looks cool. Oh, the the easy is too big to make need to let it open. Um, it's on the top. Um, I couldn't get the sage to go on the top, so close this up here. There's just two little levers you have to pull on here to slide it out, and then just slide it out. There we go. So, this is wall mountable, but it's not going to be mounted on the wall because it's heavy. And, yeah, I'm not sure if my wall is um, sturdy enough to hold this kind of stuff. So, it is not going to be wall mounted as of right now, at least. And I think it looks pretty cool here sitting on the floor. So, I just look at that, doesn't it? Like, come on, that looks cool. But you can't say that that doesn't look cool. a superstar microphone 
And then uh, the Sage is just connected to my Recon R-1630A on its audio output. And yeah, uh, that's all in there because I was setting this up and they were all over the floor. So, uh, this is the version 15. <laughs> Went ahead and repaired the back latch on here. Stole part of it off of version 16 that I have. Um, but yeah, so for right now, that's it. Eventually, it's going to be all hooked up and everything. Eventually, I might have some network stuff up here, too, so... Because my room is going to be the network room, so... Anyway, we'll see how that all ends out, but yeah. So anyway, as of right now, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.